Welcome back to Mario Kart Tour. Everybody, this is probably the last Mario Kart Tour video for some time because I actually have another Mario Kart kind of project I'm working on in a different game. You'll see it when you see it. As for now, cause was a line for me to use the super blooper in the first episode, or not the first episode, but the first part of this video. For those of you who don't know, the super blooper is a super blooper from Mario Kart Wii is in fact my favorite vehicle in the Mario Kart series. So Anytime I get to pick that up in Mario Kart Tour is a blessing, and this is actually ends up being one of the best maps for it in this game. So that's always very cool. Very cool indeed. Here on, a, I forgot what this map was called, honestly. Is it Cheap Cheap Lagoon? I think so. Or is that ridiculous? I honestly don't even remember. I can look it up, like, after I finish this recording. But, yeah. Just simple stuff for this first race. Just really simple. Easy W second lap putting up a pretty good score at like 2000 almost 2250 now it goes over the 2250 mark and it's gonna keep increasing because i keep getting coins i'm getting the airs I'm, I'm hitting jump boosts getting coins and there's a lot of jump boosts to uh, do on this map which like i said the super blooper is awesome so like i said anytime i can play the super blooper and anytime i can play the super blooper it's a w Anytime I get, like, rewarded for playing the Super Blooper, it's automatically a W. So, already enjoying the first part of this uh, this video here. And, um, gonna just pull up into the win. Probably one of the better wins I've had in quite some time in this game. Like, you know, just one of the clear-cut, easy, smooth W. Like, that's, I don't think you could ask for any more than what I did this race. We're gonna look at the star performance and everything, see how we did. Got a level up there, some points, and it's going to be enough for how many stars? Five? That is correct. So I'm going to start live commenting these two because, you know, these are post commentated, but I'm going to start doing live commentaries after this one. On to the next one. I've actually like, because I don't record every single thing. I kind of do some cuts. We're going to play Super Blooper again because favorite vehicle in the franchise. Probably. I'd probably say, like, my favorite vehicles in the Mario Kart franchise. Super Blooper? Gotta put that up there. The Poltergeist 4000 from DS. And Super Blooper from Wii. I'm trying to think of some others, but, like, those two are, like, the standouts. I like... I haven't really played 8, but I have played 8 Deluxe. And I like the iteration of the Blue Falcon that they have on that hoe. So, the 8 Deluxe Blue Falcon. Probably the 8 Blue Falcon at the same time. The pipe frame on 8. Also, got to put that up there, just because those two are probably my most used. There's an, uh, I forgot what it was called, but there's another, like, little AT, ATV, right? Not the standard one, but there's one in, in A Deluxe I use a lot. I, I'll look it up and probably put some text on it on this video to, so you guys know what I was talking about. But that one is probably up there as well. I'm getting really, really kind of bodied by items here which is never ideal i do get three items i think that item thing is still a very unfair advantage the bullet bike from Wii, something else i almost forgot to bring up that i love the bullet bike bro and i get hit again so i think i just call it quits here do i yeah after that i have to call it quits after that bye nope we're not doing that remember has to be a w bro has to be the dub so we're just gonna select the same combination try to get back to it I mean, I don't think you have to get first place. You can probably get a top three spot and be pretty good depending on the rest of your scoring output throughout the race. But I've said it in a previous episode. This is basically like perfectionism, right? We have to get the W. It's not really a requirement, but it's it's something. It's, it's a nice little thing. I'd like to, if available, get that win. So my heart actually just got destroyed by uh, Mega Mushroom, who they, they nerfed the hell out of Mega Mushroom for no reason. I got a green shell frenzy, so hopefully I can actually make use of this frenzy. Just throwing out green shells. Hopefully it doesn't hit me by the time it ends. And yeah, frenzy are really hard to control in my opinion. Maybe just my opinion. Maybe they are actually relatively easy to control. I got two coins and a red shell. Probably one of the better item combinations you can get with three item. I got another red shell, so surprised they're actually giving me red shells. They usually don't do that, but got two there. Getting some jump boosts. 2,000 points. 3,000 points now with that green shell hit. And another frenzy. So, yeah, we're definitely... We might get into this. No, I don't think we're getting to 7,000 points. But we got a hell of a lot of points for this one. I know that. Yes, sir. Probably destroyed some items. 6,700 points for that. So, let that speak for itself. 
as a testament to my ability to rack up points in this game. Well, I guess I did get two frenzies, but I'm playing a three-item character, so that's going to happen. I don't know what the maximum for five stars, like the points they want, because I can't see it while I'm actually recording this post-commentary. But either way, that's a really good output, and I'm happy with that, so we'll take that. We'll definitely take that. Get two more stars for frenzy mode and for whatever else that was. And uh, now all we got to do, okay, we get another one for the green shell hits from that frenzy. So just stars accumulating just all over the place, picking it up, picking it up. And another one, I don't know what this one's for because I can't really see it. Get first in 150 CC three times. That's cool. Um, Because I've been playing on 150 CC on this. I started off playing 50 a lot. And then when I realized I wasn't getting the right amount of points, or not the right amount of points, but I realized that I could get a higher point total getting 100, or I could get a higher point total doing 100 and 150, I moved to 100. And when those point totals weren't adding up to my liking, that's when I moved into 150. And I really haven't looked back. I've been destroying some point totals, some point totals. I still come up just short. I think this is time trial. It looks like time trial, so let me just speed through it right quick. So that's out of the picture. Skipping ahead once more because that's basically all the series is. I show, case a couple tracks, I skip ahead, commentate, you know, that's basically how we roll. And we're back on Cheap Cheap Lagoon, which actually did turn out to not be the same map as that 3DS map. I don't think, but I'm not sure because like it's throwing me off this in reverse. No, because that other map has that one part with the, uh, the glider, right? So it's not this. Okay, I might have to look it up after this video if I remember to, but again, we have a super blooper, and we only have one item, never mind, we have three, that kind of threw me off a little bit, but a coin frenzy, kind of hype, because, I mean, it's a frenzy, which are always hype, and then you're just picking up coins, racking up coins, as you just progress, and it's really the frenzy that requires the least amount of precision, because you don't have to be, like, aiming green shells, you don't have to be, a uh, tapping to throw your red shells, you don't have to be tapping to throw your banana peels, you just go with the flow right so that's why i like coin frenzies at the same time it could be a little underwhelming the heart item that you're gonna see me probably get a couple times that probably pretty good on a frenzy because you just sit back and watch it deflect the items for you and i got hit with something i think it was a banana peel based on the screen um but yeah I have a lead right now. Throw the shell backwards because every time you throw it, uh, you run to a new item box. It basically forces away any like banana peels, shells you have. So might as well throw those backwards. Throw, uh, place the banana peel down right before the item box because it's going to force you to throw it backwards anyway. So I might as well do it just a few seconds in advance. Maybe you hit someone quicker. It, uh, you can actually like, control where you want to aim it. Where this one kind of just like goes back without much control as you would probably like. So that's... With the synopsis there, the glider upgrades a bit. Hopefully, this is enough for three stars. 6,000 point performance. It should be at the point that I'm currently at right now. And on to the next one. Got a grand star for getting first. And these grand star daily challenges, probably the biggest indicator of the fact that these are just like, you know, just throwing clips of recordings together. So, uh, Bowser's Castle won. I have Bowser, so I always get three item character. The bullet, um, that's not the same bullet bike as the Mario Kart Wii bullet bike, the, the good bullet bike. I love that bullet bike, but this isn't the same bullet bike. Is, is it even a bike? I don't know, because it has four tires. Probably not on that same caliber. Either way, it still does pretty well because it has the highest point bonus. And anytime I use it, it's probably on here, on Bowser's Castle 1, because I haven't seen any of the other GBA Bowser's Castles. Like, the old Mario Karts be going crazy. They have, like a thousand mario there's like five mario circuits some bowser's castles in there like bruh mario circuit one mario circuit two mario circuit three like they couldn't name them after other other characters bro 
other drivers i know other drivers do get up their circuits in later games but bruh bruh they didn't have that foresight back then is that what, what the the um synopsis was they said let's just make eight mario circuits i mean they could do luigi circuit they did do some luigi circuit luigi raceway later and of course as the game progresses, everyone else, not everyone else, but a couple other characters get in their own circuits, but they they just couldn't do that initially? I guess not, because there's five Mario circuits, probably more, maybe not as that much, who knows? There's a lot of Mario circuits, basically, what it's going to end up boiling down to. And yeah, we are going to finish this easy first place. Thank you. Um, and let's get on with the next one at some eventual point in time don't know when that's gonna be i'm tired as fuck right now so i should probably wait since i'm not tired to record this 5500 is only gonna be six like are only gonna be four stars are you not entertained but i did get some uh grand stars from some daily challenges so that should help um the issue there i get to play super blooper here so i'm going to i don't even know if i get to like i think i've played so much super blooper that if i were to open it like at the time of this commentary being recorded it would p quite possibly be like have the highest well, actually no because i had the pipe frame in the beginning and i spanned pipe frame because it was all i had for so long so it's probably super blooper is probably up to the second highest at this point but who really knows so uh yeah I don't know what hit me right there. You'll probably see it when I rewatch re this. If I rewatch this, I'll probably see like what hit me right there. But because I'm, I'm doing this post commentary, I can't really get a full view of the screen. So I don't know exactly what actually hit me there. But um, it was something that obviously had a pretty slowing effect. I would have loved to get a mushroom frenzy instead of a green shell there. And somehow I'm in third. Probably could be in first if I didn't get hit by that. Gotta be careful here. Kind of losing balance, losing control a little bit, but doing well overall. Got a red shell, so as soon as this uh, banana peel is gone, actually, I'm going to have to throw it because I'm running into an item. And, like, I don't know why the AI doesn't do the same thing. Probably because they're artificial intelligence. And somehow, I don't know how I got in the lead, but we have a lead now. I actually looked away for, like, a half second, looking down to see, the, like, try to see the timeline and see what would happen. But, um... I do end up taking the lead. Cool. And we are going to make it. Are we going to make it? We are. So, first place. Simple. Nothing astronomical. And on to the next one. Waluigi Pinball. Now, Waluigi Pinball, I'm actually boosting this vehicle up because it has the highest card bonus. I actually don't even think I end up using it because of the amount of points it actually, base points it actually has on here. So let me see if I actually do. I feel like I don't. And I was right. I didn't. Actually, I did. Never mind. I went back to Super Blue Bear Watch. I guarantee you I picked this. Yep. Favorite vehicle in the series, bro. Have to pick that. So I don't know. This is reversed Waluigi Pinball, which is very awkward. But we're playing it right now. It is, in fact, what we're doing. And yeah, I probably could have stuck with that other vehicle. But, I mean, reverse Waluigi pinball is weird, so I'm not going to. Yeah, look look at that. That's just, un it's not unsettling. I don't know if that's the right word, but it's just. Like, what if they don't Waluigi? I get hit by a lot of uh, pinballs here, too. Like, maybe they might be easy to avoid because they're actually coming down at you and not, like, chasing you. Uh, I was wrong. I got hit by one. Uh, um, I got two red shells, though, so. You can get clapped. I'm pretty sure I get hit by another one. Here, though. I was right. I do. Yeah, I thought that would be easy to avoid. Maybe they are. And I was going to hit you with the red shell if you passed me, but you just ran into it like an idiot. So that... I mean, it takes away the option if someone else were to pull up. So that's kind of annoying. But what can you really do? I don't know if you can switch the items like you can in. I think Double Dash, you can switch them, right? When you have two items, I don't know if you can do that in this game or not because I mean I don't I haven't found a way to at least I might as well throw the green shell because more item boxes coming up. So uh yeah, I got hit by another pinball. That one probably harder to avoid than the other ones. I think the ones that way you're on this thing and it's like, you know. But either way, 
I get hit by a lot of pinballs here. That probably stops. I do I do get blue shell. I actually didn't see the blue shell, and now I'm not in the lead anymore. Which kind of sucks. And then he comes out of nowhere. I think I get like pelted by the yup. So and then everybody's just coming out of nowhere. So I think this is gonna be a lost cause. A lost cause. Uh this video is not indicative of the singing ability display on the song goat tendencies, by the way. But I think this just ends up in a restart because there's no way. Yeah, I, that was a desperation heave. I think I actually got hit by that with that, but it's over. So here's the restart button. See what happens this time. Uh, this probably is a slower start than what I had last time. I think I do get a slipstream here. I do. Again, like reverse Waluigi pinballs. Extremely awkward. And the Bowser Shell, probably the most annoying item in this game. It's like an indestructible green shell. Green shells are annoying on items like, or maps like this with walls, because they just ricochet off everything. And after a while of hitting the wall, they'll break, or if they hit you, they'll break. But Bowser Shell just is that with a lot more durability. It won't, like, break after hitting you. So after it hits you, it's still on a rampage, so it could hit you again. And like I said, it has a lot more durability than the green shell. So, I mean, like, what, what can you really do about that? Like, especially with the... They nerfed the hell of the Mega Mushroom. I think... Uh, you should be able to be at least immune to Bowser Shell with Mega Mushroom. But no. Like, at least this, that could destroy the Bowser Shell. But no. It's just like you lose your Mega and if you, you can get hit by it again and then fucking get spit out, bro. So, I think that... uh, For those reasons listed, that's why I think that... uh. The Bowser shell is annoying. Broken, possibly, maybe. I don't know. Can't believe I'm using the word broken in Mario Kart Tour, but it's the fact of the matter. I don't even know if I had any coins to be knocked out. Probably you can see that. I can't while I'm doing this commentary, but it'll it'll come up on the video anyway. So, yes. Um. But yeah, this this should be the one that ends in the W. And I don't know what else I do in this video. But it's looking good. It's looking good. So no complaints from me as we pull up here. Just really not much to like say overall. It's not a lot to say here. It's just I'm getting the win. I'm getting my points. Not really much to talk about other than the other Mario Kart video that I will be making after this. That you guys will see. Uh, probably not before Sword and Shield comes out because I'm going to be playing that. But uh. You gotta win, so can never complain there. I'll let the points total show because I haven't done that for the last couple of races. And I still have a couple more videos to uh, get the commentaries out over. I think I did pretty well, but I only got four stars. Are you not entertained? Are you kidding me? Are you not entertained by that? On to the next one. This is kind of odd. It's uh, this Paris map. It's in reverse. Which is ends up throwing me off quite a bit, as you can see on the recording, or as you're going to see. But um, yeah, I'm gonna start doing these live comms, so I don't have to do this post commentary afterwards. This will be the last one, but again, I will be making another one. I start with the heart frenzy, which I mean, probably don't have to be tapping the screen like this, but it does get give you a little bit of a speed boost. I was trying to see if I could slow that man down while he was still mega, you know. Kind of drop that shit. I do hit him with the uh, thing anyway. And look at the combo. Look at the points. Look at the points. 1723 seems really good. Because, you know, I had the frenzy going. And everything considered. And look at that. Got a hit with the banana peel. And we're on to the next lap in first place. I don't know what the margin is. There's the map right there. Go figure. Um, And it's looking pretty good right now. I actually got lightning, but lightning doesn't isn't as a, um, annoying as it is in the other games. By the mean that I mean they can still glide, so it's not. They nerfed a lot of I items like power wise. Like lightning can't do that. Mushroom, if you if you take a hit with mega mushroom, it's gone. Like they nerfed a ton of items. Like you won't spin out, but you'll. They just they nerfed probably too much items, and do you see the frenzy performance right there. I'm looking at the timeline. I don't think that's actually going to give me my five stars, bro. I don't think I'm getting it all five stars despite that performance. I mean, I had a heart frenzy. I was hitting people with items, both the cart and race to level up. 
and I get four stars, are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? I guess not. On to the next one, though. So we ending it. We ending it with Mario Circuit. Got Mario, of course, because it's Mario Circuit. He's gonna get some kind of bonus because the track is named after him. Uh, I actually wasn't looking at the screen during this. I mean, there's like I said, there's nothing to really talk about. How's you guys' day doing? I guess you can probably answer that in the questions. Probably not the questions, the comments. Uh, I think I'm doing okay. I got a mushroom frenzy on here kind of waiting for this to end so i can get this video uploaded to be honest if we're being real like that's how it is at this point i might as well just like not even comment it over this and then just have it speed up but i figured i will give you a look at that scoring output never mind i have something to talk about three thousand points on the first lap three thousand and counting and counting we're getting to 3200 uh we are this is phenomenal okay i'm i, I brushed i, I just I'm not going to glance upon this. I mean, this is a very short map. And we just pulled a 6,000-point performance. 63-10. Man, 63-10. That is what I'm... I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, but that's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're talking about, but that is what I am talking about. Give me all five of my stars. Thank you very much. I will gladly take that, and the next thing is just a run through the rings. I'm just going to speed this up. It's nothing crazy. All right, thank you guys for watching this video, and uh, peace.